God has commanded us to pray for our leaders. And folks, if you're not praying for them right now, when are you going to pray for them? You know what? Maybe we're dealing with some of the things we're dealing with right now because we haven't been praying for our leaders. I think, we, I think we need to get back to that. We need to get back to praying for our leaders. And if you know their names, call their name out to God. And if God hears his people crying out, God will hear that. And you know what? God might decide to let their days be few and let another take their office. That could happen. He got rid of Blagojevich. He got rid of George Ryan. Didn't we have, we had, didn't we have like two or three uh, governors in prison at the same time? God's thrown our governors in prison before, and he could do it again. Oh, man, wouldn't that be a blessing? The one that actually affected us in a really bad way, if we could see him get thrown in prison, man, that would be a blessing. You know, Hillary, I wanted to see her go to prison really bad. I'd get really excited when everybody would chant lock her up and things like that at the Trump rallies. But, you know, Hillary never really did anything to hurt me except just disgust me with her words and her face, you know. That's really all she ever did. But I wanted to see her locked up bad. But boy, when I, I, I would really love to see Pritzker locked up because he, ha, he has affected me. But you know, you say, oh, God doesn't answer prayers like that. Why did, one of the reasons we see God got Egypt out of bondage, remember what he told Moses? He heard their cry. When they were in bondage in Egypt, they were crying out to the Lord. And think about this too. People act like if you're complaining about your leaders, you know, if you're mad at what they're doing, you're just murmuring, Right? Israel was the most murmuring people in the world in the wilderness. You don't get any more murmuring than Israel. But when they were crying out against their leadership, God didn't call that murmuring. God called it praying, and God answered it. So think about that for a little while. If there's anything we ought to be going and crying out to the Lord about, it's oppressive leaders. And, you know, and, you know so don't be quick to pray for them to die. Pray that God will save them. Pray that God will change their hearts. Pray that God will just help them to lead in a way that will leave us alone. That needs to be our attitude. And, you know, people are always telling you, you know, get involved in politics, you know, find out. No, I mean, I'm not against you if you want to do that. That's fine if you want to do that. But we should all be actively involved in praying for our leaders. And I think one of our prayers should be that we don't find out who they are. We don't know who they are because they're leaving us alone.